Why is nobody talking about Zion Williamson? Over the 2020-21 NBA preseason, Zion Williamson averaged 28.5 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. In Zion's first two games of this new NBA season, Zion has put up 15 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists, and 32 points, 14 rebounds, and 1 assist in just his first two games. Zion is playing like a future MVP right now, but why isn't anybody talking about him? Let's find out. Welcome back to another Hoopway video. On this channel, we post daily NBA content, so please make sure to subscribe with those post notifications on. Drop that like and comment any other video ideas you guys want me to do, and I'm gonna make those videos. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. For the 2019-2020 NBA season, Zion averaged 22.5 points, 6.7 rebounds, and 2.1 assists in just 26 games after being drafted by the Pelicans with the first overall pick in the 2019 NBA Draft. The amazing part of what Zion did in his rookie season was the fact that he put up all those crazy stats with a heavy minutes restriction due to his injuries. Now that this year Zion is not playing with any minutes restrictions, he is playing even better as in the pre season he's put up some monster performances including a 26 point 11 rebound and 2 assist game against the Heat and a 31 point 9 rebound and 2 assist game against the Bucks. I'm going to make this video just because of the simple fact that I haven't seen many people talking about Zion's beastly performances. Honestly people have just been talking about LaMelo Ball and all these new rookies but I feel like people just forgot about Zion a little bit so I'm here to inform you of why Zion is looking like an absolute animal right now. I believe that in this upcoming NBA season, Zion is going to impress a lot of people just because of the simple fact that Zion will not be on a minutes restriction. He will get to play freely with the new addition of head coach Steve Van Gundy. In his first two regular season games in this 21 season, Zion has put up 15 points, 10 assists, and 3 rebounds against the Raptors with a W, and 32 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 or 2 assists against the Heat. I haven't seen SportsCenter, ESPN, or any of this big news outlets talking about Zion, but I just want to inform you guys, don't be surprised if Zion is going to be a scoring leader this year. He's not on a minutes restriction, so he's playing way more freely. He's not scared of his injuries. He's fully healed of his injuries, not to mention the fact that Zion did go through a massive body transformation. We've seen those pictures, those viral pictures that went viral online. I'm going to put them on the screen, so he is in the best shape of his basketball career. If you watch Zion Williamson play in the first pre preseason games and the regular season games, you can tell Zion is looking way more comfortable and he's dropping buckets with ease. I don't want to forget the fact that, like I said earlier in the video, his body transformation is helping him a lot. I believe he's in the best shape of his basketball career as he looks so light on his feet, jumping looks way easier, his knees probably aren't getting as much stress on them so he's continuing to perform at his best shape. I believe that if Zion continues to score at this rate throughout the whole season, he can become a top 3 scorer in the league. Not to mention, this season, the Pelicans are supposed to make the playoffs and have a good year. I believe that Zion is going to be a big part of this Pelicans playoff push as he is going to be the main scorer for this team. Lonzo is looking very comfortable out there as well. We've seen these changes shooting form again completely so hopefully we can see Zion flourish on the court. They also got the new addition of Steven Adams so he's going to be a big man on the court. He's going to be getting those rebounds for Zion when he shoots those threes. I also believe that Zion might get close to averaging a triple-double this season. Uh, I'm going to make the prediction right now. He's probably going to average 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. That's going to be my um, stat average for Zion Williamson for this 2021 NBA season. Let's talk about the Pelicans team for a second. Things will be a bit different in New Orleans this year. Stan Van Gundy replaced Alvin Gentry as the new head coach and Drew Holiday is gone. They will still have a strong foundation with Zion Williamson leading the way, Brandon Ingram as the all-star, and Lonzo Ball with a new improved jump shot. They also added Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams for in the offseason trades. I believe that Eric Bledsoe will add a good def defensive presence, especially with Steven Adams, as Steven Adams is known for shot blocking and just being a strong body in the paint. So I don't believe that they're going to get bullied in the paint this year as last year. They really didn't have a big center. Honestly, Zion was a better center last year playing the five for them. 
so far this season for the New Orleans Pelicans, the season is looking good. They are 1-1, one one, winning to the Raptors and losing to the Heat. The Pelicans are set to play the Spurs tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, so I'm definitely going to be tuning in. As we all know, last season the Pelicans monitored Zion Williamson's minutes really heavily. There were also a lot of weight concerns that popped up during the NBA bubble. But now that that's all in the past, Zion is ready to unleash his full potential this year and show everyone what he can really do without a minutes restriction. As when asked by reporters whether he will have a minutes restriction, Zion replied with, Me and Coach Van Gundy have talked, and from what I know, there are no restrictions. None. I love to play basketball with no restrictions. Why wouldn't I love that? Zion is 100% ready this season, and I'm definitely going to make update videos about him this season. I'm definitely going to be tuned in, watching his every step, every single game, so be sure to expect more Zion Williamson updates in this upcoming NBA season. I really hope the Pelicans can make the playoffs this year as, you know, with the All-Star and Brandon Ingram and Zion, hopefully he's going to be an All-Star this year. Uh, that is my prediction. Another prediction, Zion will be an All-Star in this 2020-21 NBA season. Another thing I wanted to say in this video is I hope that Zion will shoot a lot more threes this season as I know he's doing really, really good this season, but honestly, I haven't seen him shoot many threes. I want to see him shoot at least three per game as the shots are there. A lot of teams still believe that Zion is not a good enough three-point shooter, even though he has shot a very efficiently rate last season. So hopefully we can see Zion shoot a lot more threes this season, pull up jumpers instead of the traditional using his big body frame to just go to the basket but if Zion can develop an actual consistent jump shot this season I believe that there's going to be no doubt to why Zion can't be an all-star this year but with all that being said this is going to end off the video let me know what you guys think of Zion Williamson will he be an all-star this year do you guys think that he's going to help the Pelicans make the playoffs I think he is in my opinion please make sure to comment down below any other video ideas or suggestions you guys want me to make um, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss any future videos. And with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.